Miss Putnam is like a really good, like she does a lot of books and a lot of them are about me and it's like really cool. She has a lot of stories about all of the kids in the class and sometimes whenever we're in class, like doing just the randomest things, um, she'll be like, oh my gosh, that's like, I could make a story about that. She's like different from the other teachers in a good way. I like the way she like makes the stories and she's like one of the best teachers I've ever had. I just want to say my appreciation for Ms. Maria Ramirez. Um, she is someone with tireless dedication to the campus and the community and most importantly the students of Athens Elementary. I'm so grateful to have her as my teacher. She's the best. She's so she's kind. Um, she, she's a good teacher. She loves all of us equally. We all love her. I think she deserved it because she did so much and she was teaching first grade and fourth grade at the same time and she's done a lot of hard work for everyone and she always tries to make everyone happy. She um, helps us like whenever we're like having a problem. She helps us with it and then she keeps on doing it. She is like really kind to us and she's a good teacher. We do our fun activities, and um, she likes like to play with us. So Ms. Martinez, she is amazing. She is always uh, willing to help and go the extra mile. Uh, always making it fun and engaging for, for her students. And uh, even with her teammates, she's uh, very helpful. And always, like I said, always willing to help and do, do extra. Porque me enseña letras y números. Hi, I just want to say thank you to Coach Velasquez for winning the Teacher of the Year. Coach Velasquez is always here for our kids, for our students, for our parents, for the teachers, for everybody. So well deserved. Thank you, Coach. Coach Velasquez is a great coach. I love her, but she loves playing games with us. She loves playing. She loves dancing with us. She loves doing anything with us. I'm very proud of Ms. Soto being that she was chosen as Kindred of Teacher of the Year. She is very well deserving. Uh, this is something that I know that is very special to her and very special to our family here at Kindred. We are very happy to have Ms. Soto at Kindred Elementary. She deserves to win Teacher of the Year because she um, respects her kids, like I said, enough discipline, um, and just she's very fun overall. She helps me a lot. If I need help, she'll do that. Um, she's just a good teacher in all different kinds of ways. Everything makes, everything's good about her. She's, as I said again, really nice. And I think that she's an awesome teacher. She's really good at teaching. She's nice. She helps us with anything we need. And she wants us to focus more so we can pass. She's nice and she tells people what to do. They get it to go outside a fire drill and she's cool. I love her so much. I love my teacher much. Mr. De La Rosa is a great teacher because he's passionate about us, he cares about us, he makes all the lessons fun, and he takes time out of his day, like takes tutoring, uh, he gives the kids, he gives students help with all their work. We don't have a better teacher that loves these kids more and puts more of his personal time into positive behaviors than, than Marco De La Rosa. He definitely deserves this honor. Mr. Antun is a great teacher because he helps us stay in place. He keeps us safe in the shop, makes sure that we don't get any in injuries or getting hurt. Uh, what makes Antun a great teacher of the year? Um, he actually goes above and beyond besides just inside the classroom. He helped us out during athletics by building our benches, and I know he helps out like the entire district by doing a lot of extra stuff, not just for the classroom, but everything that's outside. She's very caring very respectful, um, she cares about our health, our mental health, 
everything. If she sees that like we're upset, she asks us what's wrong. She's very a good teacher. She treats us like a second mom, basically. Like you feel at home with her. You don't feel different. She's kind, she's passionate about everything she does. Well, I love that Miss Davenport, she's always so welcoming, like no matter what, like what grade you're in or how long you've been in her class, she always just tries to like make you feel welcome and she always tries to make you feel included. Um, Ms. Davenport is a very fun and loud person. She she always makes sure you know that you're okay and if you're and if you're not okay, she always like allow you to talk to her. Um, her class is very interactive. We always have fun. We're always doing something no matter what it is. She helps us with our grades, make sure we're passing, helps us become our best versions of ourselves, make, keep making us keep up, and just overall making us better as a person and giving us, always giving us good information. Let us have fun certain times, but most of the time, you know, we got, it's at school, so we gotta do our work. We actually get to do things in there, like animation and like, we actually get, you know, we get to interact with stuff. Like my, my own class. Super hands on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Cirolo, amazing teacher, is that he's very hands on and he's always willing to listen and just understand what you're going through. Like he helped me wire up a car together, and it was pretty difficult. But he's he's real hands on, a hands on person. Even with the car that we're making right now in the CTE building, he's real hands on with the brakes, showing everybody what to do, being real, leading as an example. I think he's deserving of the award because he goes above and beyond. Um, I love to work with the kids, I love being a teacher, but when I look at the amount of work he puts in with the kids, I'm oftentimes, I guess, inspired to put in a little more because he just is everywhere all the time doing everything that needs to be done. If you ask him for help for something, he's there. Whether you're a teacher, a student, administrator, he's always there to help out.